Throw me the probe. We harnessed whole planets and their gravity to chase down the comet. The propellant that was on board was not enough to accelerate Rosetta. We needed to get energy from somewhere else, so we flew next to planets, and we took energy out of this planet to accelerate the spacecraft dramatically, and then we could reach our target. But you know, it's actually even more complicated than that, because the, the body we've caught up with, it's not a dead body, it's not something like an asteroid, just a rock in space. This is actually, if you like, a living, breathing monster, a dragon in space that we've come up close to. And to maneuver around this object, to be close to it, it's quite dangerous. And so we're slowly learning how to be close to a comet. What does close mean? Well, we started off by rendezvousing at 100 kilometers away. And we slowly worked our way down to 60, 50, 40, 30 kilometers away from the comet. And then we went into an orbit around the comet and then came even closer, 20, 10 kilometers away from this, this dragon. Actually, it's mostly asleep at, at this time. To do the landing, we have to land on this comet before it wakes up, before it gets active, before it comes closer to the sun. So we're right there grabbing this dragon hoping to put the lander on the surface and ride the dragon into the inner part of the solar system. And all of that requires so much mathematics and careful planning and constant monitoring. You know, this is just not an easy mission at all.